Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about how to download and install or attach a sample database so that you can practice your SQL queries in SQL Server. In my previous videos, I talked about how to download SQL Server from Microsoft site and what are the options for you to download. And we saw that, uh, you know, we have two options. One is the free version of SQL Server, that is the light version, but you can work on all SQL queries. You get the whole database engine. That is a limited capacity for a database, but you know, work with your SQL queries, it's perfect. Other is a full-fledged version of SQL Server, including the MSBI suite. That includes SIS, RS, and AS, but that's for a limited trial period for around 180 days. So in my previous videos, I've shown you how to download SQL Server. And in another video, I have showed you how to install SQL Server in a step-by-step -step process. Okay, so if you want to know about that, first of all, you can refer to those. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to install or attach a sample database. Microsoft has some sample databases created for people to practice and for students to, you know, query against those databases. And then today we'll see what all sample databases Microsoft offers. Okay, so I'll just go to internet and I'll just search for AdventureWorks sample database. Okay, it's already here. Uh, so you have to search like this download adventure work sample database. Okay so, Okay, so here the first link tells us about Microsoft SQL Server product samples database home So the site is msftdbprodsamples.coteplex.com. Okay, I'll just hit this site And we'll see what are the offerings here. Okay, so download adventure works database for see these are the lot of versions uh, and the latest one is for 2014 so you will get the sample database for SQL Server 2012 OLTP, for data warehousing, for Azure, for uh, Cube, okay, and for 2008 also. And for and, and with these, you also have a latest version of 2014 also. So I'll just click on AdventureWorks 2014 sample databases. So it's better to, you know, uh, get the latest database backups. And as you can see here, there are a lot of options for you to uh, download the different different versions of uh, databases and different types of databases as well so here the adventure works 2014 full database backup this is the basic database oltp database backup you can download this zip file uh, the second one is the database warehouse here you will get the uh, databases for a warehouse like you this would contain uh, fact and dimension tables okay and uh, this would be again a similar thing and uh, uh, they also have tabular model for a data warehouse uh, instead of a multi-dimensional model here and here you can also download a tabular model for a data warehouse plus you will also get multi-dimensional models like uh, for the cube backup okay so you, you can download the cube backups here these these all are the sample backups that you can install on sql server so what i'll do is i'll uh, download the adventureworks 2014 full database backup dot zip okay so you just click on this and it will start downloading. Okay, so I have already downloaded, so I'll just cancel it. And I'll take you to the location where I have the download files and I've extracted them. So these are the backup files. So this one is for the normal OLTP database. And this backup is for the AdventureWorks data warehouse. This would contain our fact and dimension tables. These are created out of OLTP. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, try to, you know, uh, attach or restore uh, both of these databases on a MySQL server. So I'll just go ahead and open SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio. So here this is my instance SQL Server instance and this is the collection of databases. As you can see here there are some already installed databases by default by SQL Server installer and there is no database there is no sample database as yet. So what I'll do I'll try to install the database that we have just downloaded. Okay so I'll just go here and what I'll do, uh, this is this new database is to create a new database. Attach option. So here are two options to install a database. One is attach, another is restore. Attach means if you have MDF and NDF files for a database, you have to go with attach. If you have a backup file with .bak extension, then you have to go through this restore database, right? So we have .bak file, so we'll go ahead with the restore option. Okay, so I'll just click here. Okay, and I have to just click on device because it's on my folder. I have to point to the folder. It takes me to the default backup location of SQL Server installed folder. I go to my drive where I have the on this. Click on OK. 
OK and it shows you everything all the details of the backup file that you're going to restore okay so one option is to just click on OK another option is you can script out this whole action and this is going to give you a full script okay now we'll see what this script does so I'm going to split all these things here and you can see right so what it does is it uses the master database and issues a restore database command and the database name is AdventureWorks 2014. Let's say you want this database to be named as OLTP. OLTP, you can put it like this, right? From disk, this is the backup location, right? And this is the data file and this is the log file that it is going to create. So it will create a MDF file and it will create a LDF file for the log. MDF file is for your data, right? That is going to store in the database, right? Other options are uh, non load and starts equal to 5 okay so this option is very important uh, and useful when you have to you know customize your backup uh, sorry uh, when you have to customize your restore strategy uh, with this you won't be able to change much but yes you can also the way we changed our uh, OLTP name here you can also change the OLTP name here you can also put it like this OLTP Okay, and if you again uh, script out this, it will give you the name OLTP here, just like we have given here. Okay, so this is so these are either of the two methods. If you just click OK, it will restore the database, or if you run this query, it will also restore the database. So we'll see both of them. Okay, first of all, I'll just click OK here. It will restore my database. Database Adventure Works OLTP 2014 restored successfully. Okay, so here you can see Adventure Works OLTP 2014 right so it has restored it successfully right now I'll show you how to restore it from here so what I'll do I'll remove this OLTP here right because there is already a database we just restored and we will again restore from a command SQL script okay so I'll just run the SQL script and here you can see uh, the, the, the the progress and all the actions that it is going to take Okay, and ultimately restore database successfully right and if I refresh it it is gonna show me this database that we just restored okay, right by these two options one was the GUI and another was the SQL command okay now uh, what we'll do is we'll go to this location and we'll see where these files are stored Okay, so I'll open run and I will go you normally you don't have uh, permission to access this folder if you are an admin then only you can uh, do it so I'll just click continue because I'm an admin so it will take me to this folder where I have this installed so so what I'll do I'll just uh, drop one of the database here okay so that there's no confusion so I'll delete okay so now we have only one database here Right, uh, and here also we have only one database. So this is the MDF file and this is the log file. So whatever tables and whatever data that I'm going to store, it will be stored in this file. And these are my transaction logs, right? Whenever I'm doing an update, insert, everything is going to uh, log here, right? So uh, if you want to see what are the extensions, so file name extension, right? You can see here. The file name extension is MDF and LDF. Okay, so let's say task. Let's detach this file. Okay, what I've done is I have detached this file, right? So now to install the same database, I have two options now. One is sorry, one is to restore the database, and I have MDF and LDF files. Another option is to attach it, right? So rather than um, restoring the backup I can I can attach from the MDF and LDF files also right so I have to just uh, choose that link and I have to just locate the MDF file here okay and as in and you know as in when you select the MDF file the LDF file is also selected right and you can just click OK and your database is attached right so so here are these two options uh, with by which you can um, install a database one was the restore option where you can restore a backup other one is the attach option where you can restore the MDF or LDF files 
so so very simple right and also we saw that uh, you know to restore there are two options one is you can restore from the GUI right and another option is to script it out right from the GUI you can script the whole you can script out the whole script okay and you can made some modifications here that is uh, sometimes very flexible and if you have to do some programmatically some things right um, then you can also choose that option and you can restore by the SQL um, statement also okay so thank you very much for watching this video please let me know your comments and please like the video if you really like it and please subscribe my channel so that you can get the latest feed of my videos that I'm going to share next thank you